I've always been, you guys, I've always been really scared of drugs, to be honest. Like, I just, like, my dad did, like, a whole bunch of drugs, and then he got, like, really bad brain damage and, like, fucked himself up. He's better now, so we can laugh about it. Okay, great. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, dad got really sick. <laughs> no, but it's fine. He went to the hospital, um, but it was fine. I remember, like, the moment that I knew he was really fucked in the head. Um, he was, like, well, first he, like, bought, like, he grew out a huge mullet and he bought, like, a, like a $20,000 pickup truck. <laughs> but, like, he went, like, basically full bogan, but the thing is, like, he grew up in Hamilton, so no one really thought anything was wrong. <laughs> um, it just seemed like normal behaviour. But, um, but, yeah, and then um, he went to hospital eventually, and I remember, like, he thought he had turned fully psychic, um, I remember, like, he turned to me one time and he was like, James, I'm just, I can tell I'm psychic, I'm having these visions that the people around me in this hospital are in pain. <laughs> it's like, it's pretty basic psychic prediction. Um, I guess we let him have it. But he, um, his second big prediction was that the elderly lady um, in the bed across from him, um, that she was going to die in seven days. Um, and, like, if you saw it, it was a pretty safe bed. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> but, no, like, <laughs> it has a happy ending, because she didn't die. Um, she actually, she went on to a retirement village. Uh, yeah, it's very sweet. Um, but Dad did, like, the classic psychic back down, and he was like, oh, I just... I, I am still psychic, I just misinterpreted my vision. Like, I saw her going away to a better life, and... <laughs> The retirement home will be really... Uh, she'll die soon, I promise. Just give it a little bit longer. Um, just like to earmark this part of my performance just for um, some religion talk time. Um, I'm a very religious person, so I just want to... I actually bought my Bible with me. I just hold on a second. I always keep it there. Um, this is my Bible. Uh, it's, uh, if you can't see it, it's quite sweaty. Um, if you can't see it, it's uh, Miley Cyrus's Miles To Go, her autobiography. Um, it's, uh, basically, as you can see, it's, like, Old Testament, because she's still got the long hair. <laughs> um, but, um, but, no, Miley's basically my god. Uh, she's, like, she's, like, Jesus, I guess. Um, Liam Hemsworth is, like, Judas. I can't believe she came back with him. It's disgusting. Um, and, um, the, I guess, like, the, the only big problem with this whole metaphor is, like, if, if Miley's Jesus, it kind of makes Billy Ray Cyrus my god. <laughs> Fuck. Um, 